the performance agreement contract which was signed by uh, the ministers with the president and that has to do with getting they say or if you will deliverables performing meeting expectations they say that's the reason why you put them there by the way well let's just uh, view this report for those who perhaps may have missed out at one point in time or the other that will form as a background we'll take it from there afterwards Close to two years into the Good Luck Sambo administration and 13 years of the return to democracy in Nigeria, many critics of government have said, even in a local parlance, that there is nothing to show. Criticisms that have put the administration on the edge. To make his ministers perform, he has gone beyond the 2012 budget defense to subject them through the rigorous exercise of performance contract signing. One by one, the ministers performed the signing exercise. One would have thought that the president would have asked the ministers to perform or ship out, but he says it is not designed to witch hunt anyone. He says he has created a tradition and that he will use himself and the vice president as an example that will douse all criticism. Even myself and the vice president, even though we supervise every minister, but there are certain parameters that could be used also. It will also help us, so we we'll also have to develop our own uh, points. <laughs> because if uh, a minister is supposed to give me briefings maybe three times a quarter, and I'm unable to schedule that minister to give me the three times briefing, which is not the fault of the minister. My scores should reduce. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it gives all of us targets, and you can assess yourself whether you are really achieving that target. It will not depend on what the newspapers will want to write, because uh, the media today is highly politicized. The whole idea was muted by the Minister of National Planning who gave the fellow ministers what can be described as a frank talk. To show how crude budget performance target is, if the Minister of Agriculture today wants to achieve 100%, he could have just settled for what used to happen, which is take most of the money, buy fertilizer, import fertilizer and distribute. Doesn't care whether it gets to the farmer or not. He would achieve 100%, but he has taken on a target to achieve food self-sufficiency, which is much more difficult and obviously to achieve. And that is why, for example, I say, unfortunately, the budget performance target is even has an adverse incentive to make people rush and spend money without actually asking what is that spending for. Each minister is expected to replicate the exercise with their permanent secretaries, directors and heads of parastatals. The president says Nigerians expect a better deal and that is what they will get under Jonathan's watch. Chukuma Onwekusi, Channel's Television News. Well, there you have it. Uh, some background to all of this. Well, this morning we are joined by Dr. Shamsuddin Usman, who is the Minister of National Planning. Thank you for coming this morning. My pleasure. Well, incidentally, I mean, uh, we understand that your ministry was actually behind this. You, you thought about, you brought, facilitated this coming forward. Could you just give us that background? I mean, how or why is this necessary? I think by way of a background, this is still all part of the Vision 2020 effort. When we were crafting the vision, Nigerians were asking how are we sure that we are making progress? And it was resolved at that time that we needed to develop certain key performance measurements, measures, what are called performance indicators for every sector of the economy, for all the things that we say we are going to do, so that we are measuring uh, to know whether we are making progress or not. That's, that's, that's how it started. Therefore, after the visioning exercise, we developed what we call National Framework for Performance Measurement, which will involve not only the federal government, the state governments, the private sector, and ultimately, ultimately, what we hope to do is to be able, at the end of each year, in line with international best practice, to produce what is called a country report. I have brought a sample you know, just to show you 
and our 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 viewers mm -hmm. this is when we went to india last year this is india 2011 this is this is typically what a country produces at the end of each year to say this is how we are making progress whether in government in the private sector that's the ultimate we've started it now on a pilot basis with the uh, federal government of course we have also extended it uh, through mutual cooperation to seven pilot states uh, i think we can discuss this in further but the whole basis of this whole performance measurement as i yeah. said it's institutionally it started with the vision 2020 but it is based on three key foundations one of them is that it's only by measuring that you know whether you are making progress or not also if you cannot measure and no failure you cannot correct it if you cannot measure success you cannot reward it and lastly it's only if you are measuring and demonstrating results that you can win public confidence or the confidence of the nigerian public so this is this is really the background to, okay. to all this exercise. Okay, but does this take into cognizance? Because I've heard former ministers, uh, I think Adishi Ogunle were one of them, and some economists talk about our budgeting system, that there's a fundamental challenge, in fact, problem, if you will, with that process all by itself. And so if that is not properly addressed, if we continue this yearly budget, as opposed to perhaps two or three uh, uh, budget system, we will continue to have problems and challenges. Have you heard that before and what do you think of it? I have and I think it's very important you ask this question. Let me also put this whole discussion into context because some people think that the president is just reacting to all this budget pressure from the National Assembly. That's not it. This is something that systematically started over one and a half years ago we have been working at it. And in fact quite interestingly I remember when we produced the first uh, annual report for the federal government, I came to Lagos here and launched it. I have a copy here. Okay. I launched it with the press and I came here and did this same interview with you people. But somehow Nigerians haven't paid enough attention to the fact that we're talking of really a lot more things than just the budget. And to help with this, I don't know whether you people have been able to really, to, if they can put this on the screen. What, you have copies. Yeah. What I've done is just on a one slide format to, to really capture, try to capture the issues. The way to produce results has several aspects to it. The input stage, then at the input stage, policies, budget, regulations, capac human capacity, and technical capacity. That's input.